Mike and um, we're in El Segundo, California, and this is what we call the perma newbies. We're all uh, we're all learning, and we're all learning about permaculture. Um, what's behind me here is a whiteboard with a with a project that we're working on. That's uh, quite a, quite interesting. Well, of course, I would say that, wouldn't I? Because <laughs> so basically, this is a small a small area, 13 feet long by eight feet deep, which is in front of an apartment block in uh, El Segundo. And uh, one of the challenges with, with any form of gardening, really, when you're in a shared environment, is you've got to deal, obviously, with the, with the landlords. Not in, I don't mean that in a negative way, and obviously the, the other tenants. So we managed to um, allow, get, sorry, we managed to be allowed to use this small, this small piece of land, which is, as I say, 13 feet by 8, which is from a piece of land that's actually about 40 feet. And we decided that using permaculture principles, how can we get something that's going to look good for the landlords because they want it, this is on the front of the property, it's not on the back, so they want it to look good, they want it to look better than it, what, than it was, and I believe it will, but it's already looking that way. So what we decided to do in order to get good use of space, this thing here is what's called a keyhole bed. So all, all this greenery around here will be planted with edible plants. The, the, and there may be some aesthetics in there as well, but the, the main goal here is edible plants. There are edible, edible flowers and there are edible succulents, so we can make it look good. It's not just going to be a, a mass of green, although if you've ever seen a mass of green like a mass of kale, it is very beautiful, but there will be kale in there. Um, so this is a keyhole bed, as I say. Um, we're going to plant a, a, a little canado tree here in the corner, which is a small avocado tree, which produces avocados, obviously. A dwarf banana tree here. This is the, this is the, the, the sidewalk and the uh, street, by the way, on this side. A dwarf banana tree here. And we're also going to plant a, uh, somewhere in this area here, we're going to plant a, um, a pomegranate tree, which is interesting that someone in our group here talked about earlier. Um, the other thing that we're looking at is, um, this is, this is a very basic, Drawing of a herb spiral, which is another, another permaculture, um, very popular in permaculture because you're getting this is a Fibonacci, I think, yeah, uh, spiral, which you see a lot in nature. And the idea is you plant herbs on the side of the spiral. In that case, in that way, you get a lot of growth out of a small area of land, which is you know another one of the principles of permaculture. Um, this this thing here is a, is a imagine that we we cook. Cut, an, cut, cut this with a knife and pull the slice out. So this is this is how we built this, this particular uh, bed. Is actually um, uh, you know it's got, it's got an incline and a, and a central point. And uh, what we how we achieved that we after we cleared the land here and preserved the existing plants along here and here, we mulched everything. Then we do we do the trench through the cent what what would be the centre of this, and then we we took from a local. Uh, uh, council yard. We took some twigs and branches, and we, we we filled the trench in a little bit, built them up a bit, put mulch on top of that, and then we put soil on top of that. Um, this is this is a principle called Hoover culture, and it's uh, it's it's German, and it pre actually predates permaculture. Um, the other important point is we set ourselves. I, I believe it's important. We set ourselves a budget of six hundred dollars to do this, and I think we'll I think we'll stay within it. Because we're at about we're at about 420, and we're, we're, we're almost we're almost there. Um, and yeah, the point is, we wanted to do something that would be okay with the landlords, okay with the neighbours, that would produce fruit. That's a community area, which it is, because it's part of an apartment complex. And we're, what we're hoping from this is that we'll be allowed to do the other gardens that are there, and even even better. But maybe somebody will go past and say, well, you know, why, why can't we do this? At, you know where we are, you know, whether it be their own garden or whether it be another 